TCL CSOT brought inkjet printing OLED technology to CES 2023 with its 65-inch 8K inkjet printing OLED display and its 31-inch 4K inkjet printing AMOLED technology slash monitor. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. We have some new information on this eco and budget-friendly display as the inkjet printing process is set to use far fewer materials to manufacture achieved by printing the OLED panel directly and avoiding the conventional fine metal mask evaporation technology used by LG Display for its own OLED panels. This is an avenue to reduce production costs. And eventually, when this technology is released on the consumer market, prices are expected to drop 15 to 25% compared to traditional OLED TVs of the same size. These two displays are prototypes and we are looking at a three-year wait time for when these displays will hit the consumer market, as confirmed by the TCL rep. And here's all the news, friends, on this new technology that I've been able to get. We are looking at here a 65-inch 8K inkjet printing OLED TV display with 99% of the DCI-P3 color coverage and an extremely wide viewing angle of 135 degrees. The highlights here, with an extremely narrow bezel, 8K ultra-fine screen quality, the immersive wide viewing angles, and the ultimate vivid color gamut. So let's take a listen to the information that TCL rep had to offer. Big, big problem of OLED is like the IS media staking or yeah. the lifetime. Uh, I, I think there's uh, some problem need to overcome. Okay. Uh, but uh, we think the inject printing, this technology, uh, will be uh, used the less material. Less material. Uh, so we think the, in the future, the cost, uh, this, this technology will be cost, cost down, cost down than, than the vapor time. Yeah. Okay, so this is our uh, technology trend. <coughs> yeah, so this is, when it comes out, it's going to be more affordable than the regular OLED. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, to the uh, normal uh, OLED, OLED, yeah. OLED type. When is this coming out? Is it coming out soon? Or? Um, actually, we, we plan uh, three years later. Three years? Yeah. Three years from down so the this is uh, our prototype. But yeah. we show this uh, this product that uh, this, we can do the large size yeah. in the AK uh, resolution. Wow. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So, yeah. uh, what about brightness? What is the top uh, brightness? Brightness? Oh, okay. We can see the, this one. Uh, I think the brightness. Uh, wait a minute. This. Oh, <laughs> this not, it didn't show it's the spec. I, I, yeah. I don't know that, that brightness. But it, it, I mean, by, just by looking at it, it looks amazing. It looks uh, beautiful. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, this looks at least 800, 1,000 nits of big brightness. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to see if you had any more information about that. But it looks beautiful. Yeah, it, uh, the, the color and the performance is like the yellow, uh, the OLED. Yeah. But, but we think the the process will be more friendly for the material for the yeah. environment. So longevity, the live longevity on this on this technology is similar to regular TVs. Is it longer? Does it last longer? Yeah. You mean the, the li life, lifetime? Lifespan. Um, yes. Actually, lifetime has some some problem need to overcome. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your yeah. information. You're welcome. There you have it friends, Jolster G4K was able to ask the question, does this inkjet printing technology last longer or does it have less burn-in than regular OLEDs? And the TCL rep said there are still things to overcome with this technology, hence the three-year waiting period, although the rep couldn't confirm any kind of brightness levels. From what we can see, it looks amazing, it is very bright and so inky. This truly looks next-gen, and just to know that it'll even be cheaper than the current OLED market when it was introduced, that to me sounds like a winner. Especially with early adopter technology, it's good to know they'll be cheaper, so at least we have that to look forward to, especially waiting in these three years. And the rep was touting it will be very eco-friendly, friendlier than current OLEDs. So I'm sure as technology is improving, that's a plus in everyone's book. So you can see here friends, eco and budget-friendly technology with a new OLED process is three years very soon? At least they're in the prototype stage and we're out of paper. <laughs> Also announced on the show floor was the 31-inch 4K inkjet printing AMOLED display in a perfect monitor form factor, coming in at 4K at 120Hz with 99% of the DCI-P3 color coverage. Not too much information was available here for this monitor, but both displays were looking glossy, and unfortunately we're still gonna have to wait about three years for these to enter mass production for the consumer market. So friends, there you have it. Awesome technology at CES 2023. The future is looking bright and eco-friendly. So friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it to help them make that awesome buying decision. Consider subscribing if you want more information on all the display technology news coming out in the near future. Thanks for watching friends. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.